Hi, I'm Tara Stiles, and today on The Yoga Solution, I'm going to show you all four moves you can do for tight hamstrings. So if you're an athlete or a weekend warrior, or if you just sit at desks a lot, or walk around the city a lot, we all get somewhat of tight hamstrings, so this should help. Okay, so let's just start in an easy runner's lunge. Right foot forward, left leg all the way back, bring your fingertips on the ground, and let the hips just sink on down. So no need to push or force anything when you're working on flexibility. A lot of times we clench and force and try to stretch into it. See if you can more stay with the breath, very big, long inhales, and even longer, deeper exhales. And it's okay to move a little bit, a little swagger side to side, just like a shipwreck sinking, it, sinking its way to the bottom of the ocean, just breathing easy. The second one is a nice, easy runner stretch. So go ahead and start to shift your hips back a little bit. Extend your right leg all the way forward here, nice and long. And simply let your torso fold over this front leg here. So very big, long inhales fill you up just like a jellyfish. And deep exhales soften you just a bit further, just a bit deeper. And staying with this very nice, big, full pace of breath, we'll start to loosen things up and release tension all of the backs of the legs, even into the lower back, which feels really great. If there's a little more room to work on this one, if it feels good, start to sit back on this back heel. Also great simultaneous stretch for the arch of your foot if you wear shoes at all, this feels good. <laughs> and again, just softening your torso over this front leg, breathing a whole lot, very big inhales and long, deep exhales. And once you've had enough of that one, next one, start to shift your hips all the way back out to your nice low lunge. Fingertips find your ground either side of your front foot. This time we'll tuck your back toes, start to lift your hips straight up, and let your torso here simply fold and relax over your front leg here. So very big inhales and long exhales here. If the front knee doesn't go all the way straight, don't worry about it. You can keep a little soft bend in this knee also. So try to avoid slamming the knee straight if it's not happening easy. So easy, full, big breaths here. If this is super easy for you, no problem. Maybe start to square off the hips a little bit. So guiding this front hip back, nudging your back hip forward. That'll really get into the nice belly part of the hamstring here. And breathing easy, nice release of your torso. So everything's all connected together. The hamstrings, the lower back, the spine all connected. <laughs> so gently easing yourself back to your nice low lunge. And the last one here, number four, we're going to come into your split here. So if the split, if you just don't want to go for it, no worries at all. Runner stretch is a great prep to breathe into and to hang out for a very long time. If you're feeling pretty good here and you have a little more room opened up, start to gently slide your heel forward. If it comes off your yoga mat, this even better because you start to slide your heel on the ground. And then don't worry about getting your hips all the way flat down to the ground. If that's not happening, no worries at all. Don't worry so much about the picture of the pose here. Breathing a lot. And if there's a little more room to work with, you can always slide that back knee back, sliding your front heel forward, finding some space here, breathing with it. And again, if there's a little more room, finding a little more space. So every inhale is like opening a door and every exhale is simply moving into that door. So when you move with your breath instead of pushing your body, then things can open up a lot better. So breathing a lot here. So stay there for about four, five, six, seven breaths, however long you can stay with a lot of ease, a lot of clarity here. If you start to feel tension, it's a good time to come out of it here. So just back off a bit. If you can't breathe, just back out a little bit. <laughs> it's all good there. So once you've done that side, make sure you do the other side so you'll be nice and even out. So there you have it, four moves to release stress and tight hamstrings. I'm Tara Stiles and I'll catch you later on The Yoga Solution. Hey everybody, thank you so much for watching. If you have a problem or a question, let me know. You can leave a video response or a comment and I'll help you find the yoga solution. See ya.